China is also the world's largest foreign holder of U.S. debt. It holds $1.2 trillion in U.S. Treasuries, roughly 8% of all outstanding Treasuries. Karina Huber has more on how this impacts relationships between the two countries. When China became a major manufacturing hub for U.S. companies beginning in the 1990s, it accumulated a lot of U.S. dollars. Looking for a place to park those dollars, it chose U.S. Treasuries, considered one of the world's safest investments. Now it is the world's biggest foreign investor in U.S. debt. The fact that China had invested so voluminously in U.S. Treasuries meant that anyone could see in, in a very graphic way we we're in, in this together and that the world had sort of come together in some fundamental and organic way. The American reaction to this new relationship was mixed, but experts say the paradigm benefits both countries. Having a big buyer of U.S. debt keeps interest rates on Treasuries low, making it less costly for America to raise money to fund government projects. David Danoon, professor at NYU's Center on U.S.-China Relations, says it also helps China maintain its status as a manufacturing giant. By buying dollars, they kept the price of the dollar up. They kept the price of the yuan where they wanted it. Uh, the second thing is that buying large amounts of treasuries gave the Chinese government considerable political influence with the U.S. When Congress almost failed to raise the debt ceiling in 2011, China expressed its frustration and hinted it would seek to invest its money elsewhere. But Shell says it is unlikely China will offload its treasuries in one fell swoop. But China can't take its money out of treasuries precipitously without destroying its own value. So it's a kind of a codependent relationship. But the paradigm could soon change. China is trying to shift its economy to one that is less dependent on exports and more driven by domestic consumption. If that happens, experts say, China would have fewer excess dollars, which could mean it would slow down its purchase of U.S. Treasuries. How that may impact the relationship is unclear. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.